This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. Okay. So first time I would like to show you what are the de details we have in uh, MD04. So there is no details here, only stock it is showing, okay. Now I am going to open the sales order creation, VA01 and in this initial screen, first we need to enter what is the order type. Order type is OR, OR means a standard order, okay. and sales organization it is a SL01 now can we put the order type something else like uh, if you drop down we will see what kind of order types there yeah you want to put it you put it but uh, you will get some issues I see. somebody has created something something that but is we don't know uh, yeah assigned with the sales yeah. i just want to yeah, see correct. what kind of so you can see all these are the order types. Okay. But in uh, in the uh, in the PP, do you have any different order types? Are you use standard order types? So for PP, we won't use the sales orders. We will get from sales department. That from sales department. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whether they want to use whatever the order type, they can use it. We will get the requirement from sales. Okay. Okay. So you can note down these details. Because you need to create them. Okay. I'm putting this screenshot here. Okay. So then press enter after entering these details you click on enter. In this screen we need to enter the sold to party. Sold to party is nothing but a customer. Okay. There is a customer called 3 is there which is working fine for us. So you can enter the name 3. And then ship to party. This is also same customer and then you can enter the customer reference. You can put any letter here, anything you can enter here and then press enter. Okay. Payment terms is asking you, you can select anyone here. Okay. Any option you can select, then press enter. So in the bottom, all items here we need to enter our material, material code. Our material code is Volvo bus, and then enter the order quantity. For example, 10 order quantity you want to manufacture and then enter the plant in which plant 3001 okay once you enter these details you can press enter Jamal if you want you can take the screenshot these are the details we need to enter uh, well now uh, what I'm trying to do I will take the help from the session okay so no problem that's then very, i can that's very yeah. easy for us that step by step we can get from there. yeah okay i'm just pressing enter delivery schedule is active shipping point record okay this is just a information message you can uh, press enter once you press enter, it will go to this screen, the availability control. Okay. Here, you can click on 
కంప్లీట్ డెలివరీ ఓకే క్లిక్ ఆన్ కంప్లీట్ డెలివరీ ఇట్ విల్ కమ్ టు మెయిన్ స్క్రీన్ ఓకే సో దెన్ యూ క్యాన్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ సేవ్ బటన్ దట్స్ ఆల్ హియర్ వి ఎంటర్ షిప్ టు పార్టీ సోల్ టు పార్టీ రిఫరెన్స్ నెంబర్ పేమెంట్ టర్మ్స్ then material code quantity and plant these are the details we enter and then press send save when the condition type say pr00 that's the, the system automatically pull from yeah the... remaining all details it will come from the their configuration their setup this item category 10 control uh, costing this pr00 condition type everything it will come from their con Okay. then click on save it is saying save incomplete document would you like to save or edit it okay for us we can save it we need only sale sorter we don't require to edit or something okay save it after saving you will get a one number you can see standard order 93 has been saved okay so sales order number is 93 yeah so this is from the sales okay so we don't require to bother what are the errors is coming now i am going to the md04 and verify you can see you got that sales order number okay 93 okay. and this yeah. 10 is item then what is the customer order is the part of and what is the other one customer the top one top one customer uh, stock i think yes okay. Okay. so any time when you when you receive the sales order hmm. and when you click stock requirement then you will receive the two lines customer sales stock in customer order actually that depends on their uh, configuration sometimes you will get only one line uh, but uh, you, you will get the mrp the, element is sorry can you check the second line in details you will see customer stock or customer something or left side second line we want to just trying to see i mean so whenever you created a order it will come as a us what customer order and the requirement this is a requirement that is the reason it will show minus 10 okay you can see individual customer stock UST ST okay okay thank you sir sometime i am uh, asking this stupid question mr watch you don't mind it just it's yeah no problem okay okay is it clear creation of sales order yes. okay. now yes. okay now our next step is from here we will follow our M, uh, pp okay like mrp run same procedure yes from here we will continue our steps okay now we can we go through the from the beginning what we did first we create the material right yeah and um, then after that we um um Park Center already has hmm. and BAM we are using routing, we are using production version is the same but then after production version then you create the sales order, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. And then MRP run. Correct. I see. Okay. 
okay so now i am running the mrp you will enter the plant material and you can select the same options there is no change scheduling tool and planning method tool. you can use one or three okay execute okay it is selected materials planned two materials it is planned raw material and fg material okay so now we will see what is the situation in md04 talking about raw material and uh, finished product one is bus and one is uh, correct tire, think, tire. Right? yeah correct okay. now you can see for this sales order requirement we got a planned order pld what okay now this Which one is, the, is uh, sd04 right md04 md04 i'm sorry yeah md04 yeah okay. correct okay and you can see the details in the planned order you got the planned order okay so if i go to the details of this planned order in display mode okay this is a planned order display mode you click on the assignments you will get a sales order reference here that is the important so you are making the important thing in mto is you are making your product with reference to a sales order so that is the reason that sales order linkage you will have you will have the linkage of sales order okay so in a 5883 is come from the previous Sorry, five. The plan order five eight eight three. Yeah. There. This plan order come from the previous screen. Right? Correct. Okay. So the important thing is it will directly link to the your sales order, and you will manufacturing with reference to that sales order only. Okay. So, so question we, we as soon as we convert it to production order we, oh. we 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 can see the sales order on the production order too is that right is that right yes correct correct yes it's correct. thank you okay so now this uh, plan order uh, hmm. we can convert to production right? correct now the next step is planned order to production order we saw the planned order and then we'll convert this into product order we can convert from here directly go to the production order yeah one, one second when you yeah. uh, when you click the first time this yeah. screen was uh, not coming it was a different screen the oh. when you when you create the md04 in a previous one Oh, so maybe I missed this. Okay, let's go. You can check here. So you can see production order. Yeah. And if you click on this assignment tab, second tab. Oh, sorry. Here itself it is there. Here itself we can see sales order data. Ninety-three is our sales order. And this is the item. okay you will get uh, the details in the production order also so you can yeah. save what this is your ordering order. ordering pty3 ordering pty test pp uh, another article yeah yeah test pp for sure what is the ordering pty let me see yeah ordering our sold to party customer number 
కస్టమర్ నెంబర్ జమాల్ ఇస్ మిస్ నైన్త్ క్లాస్ yeah yeah correct okay so you can see here prd word production order okay production order number has come okay now next step is we need to release this production order so for release you can use the co02 transaction code co02 here enter your order number and then press enter okay yeah. the redo button in the bottom yeah can we you, you can leave like this or we can on a order enter so display order it doesn't make any difference yeah okay so we can press enter okay the production order it will display in change mode so here now present status is created crtd is there you can click on release order we can see it is asking you missing parts is available because we don't have the stock for volvo bus okay don't have the stock for volvo bus sorry volvo tire that is the reason it is displaying you the missing parts you can see volvo tire we need 80 quantity but there is no stock okay uh, missing means uh, stock or quantity is there missing of your missing component part. no missing of parts it's uh, also here is a cross to in the end yeah in this case that we have to not yeah we have to stop to release it in this case and uh, we go to order the tire this is what we should do or how it will work yeah that is actually if you want to yeah in real time you, ne- you should not release order because you don't have the stock yeah okay okay so then okay. you can click on cancel now okay yeah cancel it and in a business generally you will inform to mm team so i need to manufacture this order tomorrow but uh, i don't have the stock are you getting the stock yeah. today or uh, when you are getting you need to ask them okay yeah in real time but here yeah. uh here what we will do is we will uh, put our stock order the tire yeah, yeah. i'm opening the md04 volvo Vo- tire the, yeah tire and i convert the sales or the process requisition to process order correct, correct. so this is a purchase requisition convert to purchase order so this screen will come so select adopt. this purchase requisition click adopt on it. add up process requisition 1000 oh no i don't know i hope you have a vendor for this one yeah, yeah look I, i at assignment e is that correct assignment yeah correct only. yeah i will tell you that actually okay yeah. role not defined material role vn okay so here 
why es come is you are purchasing this raw material also with reference to your sales order yeah okay you that is mm -hmm. the reason this e has come assignment yeah. okay account assignment category and if you come here in the bottom account assignments so you can see the reference of sales order it is still opening so this uh, sales yeah. and this here you can see uh, yeah Nicholas, is it clear yeah. yeah yeah clear yeah absolutely this is what i i try to track in all of them we can track the sales order number yes correct correct, correct. yeah my question yeah, is jamal uh, you are asking something yeah my question is uh since we are uh, this is a psd job and mm job so yes yeah. whatever the errors comes here is oh. that uh, need be personal to fix it no no if you want fix if you get the example if you get this error you will tell to nicolas because he is from mm so <laughs> yeah. he will fix it and tell you okay now you can convert and the other yeah. thing is, uh, is the, this is yellow sign here that is a information message is nothing yellow wrong. means yeah nothing wrong warning yeah no no issue delivery yeah. the document yeah yeah correct so now I am just saving it. This is the purchase order that we need yeah. for the time. Correct. Correct. Now we do the Miku. Yeah, correct. Now this is a purchase yeah. order item. This is a purchase order number. And if you go to the Migo transaction now, we will do the Migo for your raw material. Go to the Migo, goods receipt, order, not order. Purchase order. Enter your purchase order number. Execute. All the details has come. Enter the storage location. And in the bottom, click on item OK. And then you can save it. Post. Who can I check? Who is on the check? Not required. If you want to check, you can check calls. Okay. Now you can see material document is posted. Document is got posted. Now you can open the once again MD04 and check the stock of the tire. Stock tire. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can see customer stock. It is specific to that customer only. Okay. So that is the reason stock it is showing you here. It is assigned to the that customer sales order so it is showing you the customer stock okay and now we will go to the our production order and we will release it okay. and i'm just clicking release button now it is released without any error. Okay. So, in other words, we release the bus and we complete all the transaction means uh, Correct. Tyler, purchase order, and yeah. will be done. Then we go to and then we release the order. Product. Correct. Order. Correct. Okay. Now save. And save it. some uh, casting error okay no problem save it okay so order got saved our order is 1194 so the next step is we can do confirm 
yeah confirm maybe uh, but did, you, did we do uh, backflash or not no uh, we are not done the by backflash if you want yeah, no you okay, we do it now no if you want yeah. it now here same in yeah. the change mode go here okay yeah go to the components okay yeah so you can enter the storage location here and in the yeah. right side oh already back flush is activated because we copied this material it is there yeah 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 okay. yeah yeah if it is not there you can tick mark here manually for this order. yeah great okay yeah. okay back flush is there Ra okay. routing you do the routing to uh, pp03 uh, i think routing is not there we will do it that also here yeah yeah so you know the concept now okay so you can do all the changes whichever you want okay yeah now absolutely yes, yes in the production order control key is one you want to change it auto gr you put pp03 okay yes and save it okay and say can i ask a question in the, in the past order uh, we did uh, the backslash only for the first item we don't need to do it for all the other item backslash if i have in my order for example uh, like a 10 I in my bomb I have 10 item so I don't need to do it for all the uh, material in this bomb to do the back flash or not only for the first one yeah whichever the items you want to do back flash auto GA those you need to tick mark okay okay which you yeah, don't okay. require to back flash so those you don't require to put okay it is mandate it is not a mandatory to put all as backlash not required out of 10 okay, okay, okay. you want to do auto ga for only six you can put only six tick marks four yeah. you okay. do na other way okay okay perfect now i am doing the confirmation using po15 order based enter the our order number press enter okay and enter the quantity out of 10 you manufacture example 10 only and go to the goods movements tab and you can yeah. see okay both has come goods received yeah. means 101 and 265 and enter here storage location okay and now yeah. save it Jamal is it clear any questions okay so as you practice this scenario you are able to understand very easily now right. correct yeah. okay correct. so goods movements are over and you can see the message Good movements to failed zero. Okay. Oh, great! Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, in this MABE. process, we completed. Oh, yeah. We completed the last step also. Good movements also oh, over. Okay. Wow. Now you can check stock in MMB. I am putting eighth step also, like check stock. Okay, so you can check the stock also. Can you email us this, please? Uh, yeah, this sure, sure. Yeah, MMBE, go there and enter. Not wall water, wall water. Now you can see stock and you can see the sales order stock it is a normal stock it is not a normal stock okay yeah it is sales order stock yeah okay. and no. if you want to go to the details you will find the sales order reference also should be there yeah you can see sales document so it is attached to this sales order and uh, how about the stock for 
tire. Yeah, stock for tire is zero because we zero. consumed. Yeah, we consumed all stock. Yeah, now we can do the delivery of the bus. Yeah, you can do. So yeah, you can see yeah. Volvo tire zero stock. Yeah. Now we can do the delivery to the customer also. Okay. Yeah. Let me check if there is no issues. I can do that. Okay, but uh, I'm yeah, not yeah, sure yeah. whether I can <laughs> able to do it or not. Yeah, because yeah, because there is some issue with the sales order. Yes. Yeah, correct. So I am opening the sales order in VA02. Jamal, this is not PP. The PP is over. Is, we bring the stock into the. Okay, yeah, this, this is LT. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to yeah, uh, do the delivery, correct? Okay. First, I'm trying to solve the issues in complete log. Okay. Okay. You can see these are the issues here. Let me try one by one. Yeah, but uh, there is a shipping one. Yeah, yeah. Missing. In quote terms, what is the in quote terms we have? Okay, for oh. works. Okay. So, flight is determined. Very good. Okay, next. I'm trying to solve one by one issue in this sales order. Yeah, if it is, uh, yeah, if it is possible. If otherwise, it's not a big deal. Really. Yeah, shipping point. Generally. Uh, solve the one by one. This yeah. It comes from the plan. It yeah. will automatically highlight it with the red. There oh, is no, no shipping, shipping point. points. Yeah, not no yeah. possible entries. So I cannot. Uh, okay. No process. I don't know which one I need to select. These are related with uh, anything is related with the SD. Yeah. Assigned to the plant and division and all these things, then uh, it will be okay. Otherwise, this will give you again problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very it's little bit complex, you know. And the the yeah. delivery is. Point. Uh, point. Little point. Shipping, shipping, shipping basics. Shipping conditions. Okay. Just leave it there because it's uh, it's it's going to be complicated uh, because it's not assigned with the other. Yeah. yeah, we didn't assign anything for the article. Yeah, a loading group. Yeah, all these we need to do actually. I don't know. Okay. Oh, the structure completely, then it will go smooth. Otherwise, yeah, okay. We'll leave it here. Yeah. And yeah. Add order type. Let me see. 
Yeah. Maybe it is out of our scope, the shipping point and all the delivery sales. Correct. You know, Correct. no issue because it's not not PP at all. You know, no issue. Yeah. Correct. Um, when it assign shipping points. Okay. Shipping group. Proper shipping point. This is group. This is one. This one. And the shipping point. Okay. Maybe it will come now. Loading group is there. This is there. And plant is there. Okay. Let me try now. Uh, shipping condition and loading group. Uh, uh, shipping condition should be in the uh, in the customer. So what's okay. the shipping yeah. point when you put customer the number number you, three? No, when you okay. put the shipping point on the other side, it says uh, shipping something, then loading something. So you have to put all in one line straight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but shipping the shipping condition should be zero one and the customer itself. Mm. Three. Let me one second go. Comment. Complete. What is the issue here? Pricing mandatory condition MWST. MWST. You are telling something here? Yeah, I said the condition, shipping condition should be in the customer. Oh, okay. In the customer. Okay. So. Yeah, it put zero one 01 maybe. Something like this. So when you hmm. previously uh, open up one screen, it says the shipping point, plant, shipping and loading. You have to put all in one line and then save it. Then it will take it. Okay. No, you already put it. It's, they already put it. Zero one. Yeah, it is there already. Zero one. Mm -hmm. I hope this scenario is uh, completed. Okay. So I just we yes. are trying whether we can solve the sales issues or not. Okay. But it is yeah. not uh, in our scope. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely. Not, it's not uh, in our scope completely. Loading yeah, but uh, it's very is. interesting, this scenario. Shipping point determination. Shipping point determination. Yeah. Who has ended this? Somebody is working and he's breaking. Somebody's ended this. Okay. So, uh, we will uh, stop the session here. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. You yes. can practice this uh, scenario also. Yes. Okay. We will uh, continue the class tomorrow. Okay. Yes, please. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank, thanks a lot, Watu. Yeah. And thank you. Send thank me you. the Excel sheet, please. That, uh, yeah. Yeah. I will. I will send now. Okay. okay. What What we will do tomorrow, Watu? Tomorrow we will. Uh, these two scenarios is over. Can we discuss on Kanban? Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, okay. We'll let me see, according to the, the sheet, yeah. according to the sheet, that uh, course sheet, planning strategy, planning with final assembly, planning without final assembly, and uh, then net requirement planning, grass requirement plan, make to order strategy, and then after that, it will 
Mm. Okay. Planning is tragedy and this is demand management. Planning is tragedy. I okay. mean, uh, I have a course sheet in front of me. Back finishing, okay, planning, okay. production version. You, you did it all of them. And, okay. Uh, you plan this. You did it only demand management. And then after mm-hmm. is planning is tragedy with the final assembly. Without final assembly and then assembly level. Uh, okay. And then grass requirement, make to order strategy. This is all you have to do. Then after that, will Kanban will come. Okay, 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 no problem. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. See you tomorrow. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Vasu. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.